The third arm of advance is aimed at the Zyder Z. At Duran, tanks of the 1st Canadian Armoured Brigade link up with the brigade of the 1st Canadian Div. Veterans of Italy are welcomed by hysterical Hollanders. Driving ahead, our armor outflanks the town of Appledore. Nobody does tulips better than the Netherlands. This year, we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the Netherlands, as well as VE Day, May 8, 1945. Last fall, the Dutch government sent Canada over 1 million liberation tulips, a new hybrid developed for this celebration. Ottawa and many community landscapes across Canada will be filled with these brilliant orange flowers. By late 1944, the liberation of the Netherlands was slow going. The bulk of the heavy slogging was being done by the Canadians. It was brutally difficult, and the Germans had breached dikes and flooded fields, which forced Canadian troops to use the high ground, which was heavily defended. When winter came, the densely populated western provinces north of the Great Rivers were still held by the Germans. Citizens of these regions were denied relief supplies by the Germans who were running low on them themselves. Then, on April 29, 1945, the people of Holland heard the BBC announce bombers of the Royal Air Force have just taken off from their bases in England to drop food supplies to the Dutch population in enemy-occupied territory. Operation Manna was underway. In order to keep the relief supplies out of German hands, the precision radar bombing system Obos was used. The bombers came in at low altitude, which allowed for a visual drop. A total of 3,100 flights were made by Bomber Command and an additional 2,200 by the American Air Force, which joined the operation on May 1st with Operation Chowhound. Operation Manna ended with Germany's surrender on May 8th. Over 11,000 tons of food were dropped in the 10 tanks of the joint operation between the British and Americans. With surrender of the German Army, Canadians continued relief supplies by truck convoys. Finally, the objective is reached. At Harderwijk, 5th Div consolidates its positions on the shores of the sea. So ends victoriously the magnificent drive through mud and flood to the Zyder Z. Canada enjoys a special friendship with the Netherlands. Our bond was forged in the hellfires of World War II. After 75 years, this bond is as strong as ever. It is our duty as a heritage museum to preserve this history for future generations of young Canadians. Please consider making a donation or becoming a member.